the moon is called Lamu in the ancient Mesopotamian and Babylonian texts. It's in the tablets, and it used to be a moon of an orbiting moonlet of Tiamat. Just like Jupiter has all those moons, well, Tiamat had a lot of moons too. Tiamat was the third planet originally, and it was four to six times larger than Earth. Massive planet, supermassive, with water and life and land. And um, Tiamat, uh, now in the early part of the solar system, during the early years, our solar system gravitationally captured another mini solar system, okay? It was a brown dwarf with planets orbiting it. But one of those planets or one of those moons, one of those planets crashed into Tiamat, bring, breaking it into pieces. A huge chunk swung away became the Earth, taking a lot of life and water and everything with it, recoalesced it to Earth. It also gravitationally, it tugged the moon along with it. So the moon came into orbit. Now much later, you find that the Anunnaki had visited the moon and converted the moon into a way station or a base, a moon base. They hollowed out a lot of the interior of this structure. They built substructures underneath the surface uh, and they made an entire base on the opposite side. And what they did was they set the moon into a, a locked orbit with Earth to where only one side shows as we spin. As we rotate on our axis, the moon rotates at the same exact speed, only giving us one face while well, they hide themselves on the opposite side. We call it the dark side of the moon. We discovered objects on the dark side of the moon in a mission called the Clementine Mission. The Clementine Mission was a military satellite, a low lunar orbiting satellite that was sent up uh, and it was in a low lunar orbit and it crashed into structures on the opposite side of the moon and never came home. 